Hi, everybody. Um, Eric Baldwin here. I have a uh, Klipsch 12 inch powered subwoofer that the amp finally went out on after I think I've had it for almost 20 years. I think I bought it in 2000, so 19 years. And uh, I've been debating about what to do whether I wanted to buy a new subwoofer, um, you know, for three, four, five hundred dollars or easily more than that. Or since this Klipsch, uh, the woofer itself still looks like it's in good shape. Um, the last time I played it about a year ago, I think it sounded fine. It's just the amp died. So I looked around on the internet of what options I had and I almost bought a new Klipsch 12 inch. I went into Best Buy to make the purchase. And uh, when I got there, the guy pulled it out of the, pulled it off the shelf and it was huge. It's, um, I don't know, 14, 16 inches deeper than uh, the basically square subwoofer that I have now that's nice. The other thing that the new one had was a the speaker, the subwoofer is on the front of the box and then it has a speaker grill on it, which is fine. But my old Klipsch 12 inch fires the subwoofer into the floor so they're, the speaker itself is not vulnerable to anything that might happen if kids are around and you know somebody bumps into it or something. You don't have the the mesh over the the speaker itself that's going to get damaged. The speaker itself won't get damaged. Um, so I liked the design of the old box. So the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, if I can find an amp, especially for a hundred dollars on the internet that has a whole lot of good reviews. Now, if you go look at Parts Express and all the reviews under this particular 100 watt power amplifier, um, it's almost too much. There's, there's, I don't know, 300 reviews and they're all positive, pretty much. So it's a little misleading uh, because there's nicer, more expensive products on the market that don't get as many reviews as what this does that are all positive. But anyway, I looked at it, I read the reviews. You can kind of read between the lines with real reviews and maybe not real reviews. Um, but I felt like it was definitely an option. So I'm trying to adapt that, that plate power amplifier to my existing Klipsch plate amplifier. I want to utilize the existing plate because it fit in the box. Now we're looking at the back side, but this plate is the actual Klipsch power amplifier plate uh, portion of the amplifier. I took all the guts off of it, cleaned it all up, and now I'm cutting a hole for my new amplifier to fit into from the other side. But the point of this is I wanted to show um, that you can do this at home, that um, I didn't have to have somebody else do this. I could go ahead and modify this myself using my grinder and uh, just cut out the shape. It doesn't have to be perfect and I'll file the edges, clean it up a little bit so my new amplifier plate will mount from the back side or from the front side of this um, clean. But uh, yeah, if I can do this and it's gonna work and sound at all like the old one did, um, I'm gonna be happy with this, so I just wanted to document this, at least at this process, how this is going, and uh, then I'll put this all together at the end and post it uh, if it turns out as well as I hope it does. So, stay tuned.